I wasn't always the greatest reader in the classroom, but the minute that I got a subscription to Road and Track and Car and Driver, I was reading every single day. Eventually, I was in English honors by the time I got to high school. My name is Alex Barris. I am a education professional and I have an unhealthy obsession with cars. I was always enamored with the idea of cars. Whenever I'd go with my mom to Brooklyn, I would see some of the greatest cars in the world. And the way that they had acquired funds wasn't necessarily the traditional route. And you would see the big rope gold chains and I was immediately attracted to that. My mom was very much a car person. She was into the American muscle cars, and my dad was into utilitarian, I need to use this, it has to serve a purpose type of vehicle. My first word was car. I started playing with matchbox vehicles the minute that I could get a hold of them, and I was obsessed with car magazines. My first car ever was a Plymouth Neon. That car transferred into me getting a 1995 Nissan Maxima. I had been so obsessed with modifying that car because of the Fast and the Furious, and I was reading all the JDM publishings. I wrote to Nissan Sport Magazine. I asked them, can I write a behind the wheel segment? The editor had written me back and she's like, yeah, this article's great, we're gonna include it in one of our publications. Eventually the Japanese cars turned into German cars. And that was like when I got into the Mercedes, and then once I got to the Mercedes, I met other Mercedes people, and they were like, well, you should try a Porsche. I initially got into Porsches when I picked up a 2006 Porsche Cayenne with a six-speed manual. Part two, I'm driving with the manual six-shift Cayenne. I was able to engage with other Porsche owners and they were letting me drive their cars. Everything from a Porsche 356 to a Porsche 911. And in that process, I met Brett Sloan, who would let me drive a bunch of his cars. And he's got some of the best air-cooled cars in the world. I had initially been interested in a car that was a diamond blue metallic Porsche. I went to the dealership for that car, but it was already sold. And I was a little bit disappointed, but he's like, Alex, I have the car for you. Come this way. And that's the car that he introduced me to, the car that's sitting in the driveway right now. Within 10 seconds of driving the car, I was sold. I sold every car in my driveway. A Range Rover Classic, Porsche Cayenne, and I sold the 560 SL. And I put myself in a position financially to acquire this one 911. It was probably the best decision I made. There's no ABS, there's no power steering. It's a very visceral and very raw driving experience. You're driving over pebbles, you hear everything snap, crackle, pop underneath you. You hear the motor behind you, and when you really get it to 3,000 RPMs, it wakens the entire car up. It's a very special vehicle that connects the driver to the road. You feel one with the car. Right now we're capturing this beautiful woman named Brooke Irwin. She's a model in front of my beautiful car. The passion for cars, for me, it's a distraction in the sense that I get to move away from my daily life as a school administrator. Sometimes a car can do that. I could just jump in the car, hit the clutch, hit the gas, there I go.